There is a new exhibit coming to the Arizona Science Center that will take you back in time. It's called Pompeii, the exhibition, and it shows how people lived in the Italian city before it was devastated by a volcanic eruption. Kylie Cruz is live there at the Arizona Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. This is pretty incredible. I mean, think back almost 2,000 years ago, and they have more than 200 artifacts from back in the day. We're talking about tables and candelabra sticks, different cups, as you see here. Kind of miraculous that they were able to uncover these a couple hundred years ago, and now they're in an exhibit here at the Arizona Science Center. We want to talk to Sari. She is the vice president of Curiosity, and boy, oh boy, am I very curious after walking inside this exhibit. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, so we have, as you said, over 200 artifacts here uh, from Pompeii, authentic from the site. And what a lot of people don't know is that uh, Mount Vesuvius covered Pompeii completely, and it was basically a time capsule. We were able to uncover so many artifacts. Um, and what you're seeing here, we see several vases, cups, um, bottles, and uh, casks that you used to use for wine 2,000 years ago, and you're comparing it to how we live now, seeing some similarities and also some vast differences. And you guys have been working for years to bring this exhibit, one of the biggest ones you have ever had. Yes, this is one of the most unique and spectacular exhibitions we've ever had here in Arizona, and we're so excited to be able to bring this to our community, um, to have a chance to see how people lived 2,000 years ago, and again, seeing 200 authentic artifacts, um, and also being able to talk about science, everything from earth science to um, uh, archaeology, and again, uh, art history and culture and preservation. It's just a wonderful opportunity. We first saw some of the jewelry and now we want to take a look at some of these statues. This is your favorite item in the whole entire uh, exhibition. Tell me about the it gladiator. Is. Oh yeah, so this uh, section in particular looking at how the um, gladiators were adorned for entertainment and then outside where we would have had um, statues like you see here, um, the large statue of Caligula is 2,900 pounds of marble. You can see all the intricate de detail that was put into um, carving that statue. And there was a lot of grace and care put into making sure statues looked lifelike. So this one in particular was just spectacular to me. It took my breath away. And what's, you know, you think about an exhibit, exhibition is the, the correct term. I mean, putting this here, talk to me about the work and, and what's gone into putting all of this together so that the public can see it starting on Saturday. Oh, yeah. So um, we've had to work with uh, various different groups and uh, Exhibits International has done a fabulous job. Uh, this exhibition came came to us uh, out of, Pom uh, excuse me, I almost said Pompeii, out of <laughs> Portland, uh, OMSI, and it came on eight trucks and a slew of art specialists and artifact handlers. Uh, the large statue that you saw was in a giant crate and it came uh, secured with different braces on air ride trucks. There's just a lot of care, handling, and detail that goes into making sure that um, something like this is able to be traveled safely and then housed safely and put up in a way that looks beautiful when it's here. Um, this is absolutely a stunning exhibition. And as we go to the final part. This is the cast area. Tell me a little bit about what we are looking at and some of the pieces you have in this section. Yes, so as I mentioned, Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, covering the entire city of Pompeii in ash. And when it did that, several of its inhabitants were caught in that ash flow. Um, so um, in the 1700s and the 1800s, as um, archaeologists started excavating, they found these um, spaces in the rock. And that's actually where the um, bodies had started to disintegrate. And they filled those spaces with plaster and have been able to see the poses, emotions, um, and all of the detail that you see here of those people that were caught. We appreciate you giving us a sneak peek. This is an incredible uh, exhibition. So if you want to come, take a look. It opens on Saturday, and the uh, uh, event will run until May. So you have plenty of time to come in and uh, check out this wonderful exhibition for yourself. Very educational. Uh, Kylie, thank you. And guess what? We have Bill Bellamy in studio. He's going to be coming up with us in just a moment. Wait till Scott, you see what he's wearing. Fashion inspiration okay. for you. Stay tuned. Perfect. I realize I need to Scotty, uh, we are out. <laughs>